Hi, beautiful. Money pieces are my favorite, but um, nobody knows how to do them at home. So we're gonna probably see some big money piece DIY hair fails today. But first, today's video is sponsored by one of my faves, BetterHelp. Every time I leave therapy, it makes me feel fresh and rejuvenated. If you're feeling depressed, stressed, anxious, overwhelmed, BetterHelp is there for you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists that are trained to listen and help you. You can talk to your therapist private, online, and in an environment of your choice. What's better than that? There's a huge range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone session, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. You can also request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. So join the over 2 million people who have taken charge with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. And and boy, do I have a gift for you today. You get 10% off, baby. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash bradmondo. That's betterhelp.com backslash bradmondo. That is also linked below in the description box. Thank you, BetterHelp. And now let's get our other therapy, which is watching people destroy their hair. Up first, we have a video by Mac. I have never bleached my hair myself before. We have a girl with come completely no experience. And she's gonna bleach the very front pieces of our hair that everybody sees. Sounds terrible. My hair is purposely very dirty, by the way, because I planned for this. I'm not expecting it to fall out. She's not expecting it to fall out, but we shall see. We have my trusty Wella bleach. Okay, we're just gonna try it on our own first. Is that too much? I feel like this is like the perfect amount. Okay, so to me, a money piece is not like a skunk stripe or like e-girl highlights. Like to me, a money piece is like more blended, not as thick, not as contrasting. But what she's doing right now is she is picking out a lot of hair and I just feel like she's going to douse bleach on it, which is just not a good idea. It's going to look a little crazy. This is how much we're gonna bleach. I'm just questioning on how I'm about to get my room roots and not get them anywhere else. And she said she's doing her roots. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be completely bleached. Girl, I don't know. It could look cute still, but I don't think it's a money piece like you're wanting. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This is fine. It's a very small section. I'll accept it today. I'm glad you're putting a heavy amount of lightener on there. Your hair looks like it has a lot of different colors going on. You're gonna need a lot to get that lightened. And yeah, I hope she does the mids and ends first and not the roots. I mean, she didn't do the roots first yet, but you know, she's probably moving up there very soon. I'm not gonna get all the way up to my roots because Brad Mondo told me not to. I changed the world with that one. Don't do the roots first. Brad Mondo told you not to. I want to be sure I'm using enough bleach, so that's why I'm like absolutely coating my hair in it. I feel like you just didn't mush it and squish it and do everything to get all that lightener on every single strand of your hair. I feel like it might still be fine because the lightener expands and it tends to get all those little missed areas, so it, it could be fine. I'll put it on my roots. Let's not fold a foil like that. The point is to keep the air out of it and the air is in there. All right, you need to squish it and lay it flat and get it nice and just put one foil and another foil and then fold it. We don't need to like crumple a damn foil on our head. I don't know when to put it on my roots. When I'm at like halfway done? Okay, don't put it on your roots until your hair is yellow. That is a huge mistake. Like you only want to leave it on your roots for the last like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending how dark your hair is naturally. It's time to do my roots. And we're just gonna place it with my finger because I feel like it'd be easier. This foil is hanging on for dear life. Just take the foil out and apply the roots. Like what are you doing with the foil still in your hair? What is that? The tapping technique? I mean, I love it. <laughs> Things happened. Things went wrong. Things went right. How did we miss so many spots, girl? What? Unless it was the, the color she previously had on her hair that's just like not wanting to come out, but I doubt it. Um, I feel like she definitely missed those spots. That technique was brutal, man. So we're gonna have to do a second round of bleach. Okay, she's going in again with another round of bleach, which I think is a good idea because her hair is not light enough. <laughs> 
But I'm now going to town it. T14, not T18. And then everybody thinks like T14 is gonna solve their problems more than T18 is. No, they're both good products. They're fine products. Nobody ever has light enough hair to use them. But anyways, our hair is still not light enough and it's so uneven. What? What is that? I'm hoping this is gonna pull the whole thing together. But like I said, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. We're gonna pop that in. Hope for the best. So this is what we're working with. It's really rough. From the front, it looks okay, I guess. It's not harsh, except for up there. It's not harsh. <laughs> Girl, everything about that is harsh. <laughs> it is like, psh right in the front of your head. What happened to blending? You know what I mean? Like why? Um, It's also a bit discolored in some spots. You know what I mean? It's a little bit splodgy. <laughs> it's a rather strange tone of blonde, but she's not done. She's not done. We'll see. Hey guys, it's a couple days later. Guess what I'm about to do. If you guessed bleach my hair, you'd be correct. Not happy with this, I decided that it would be a great idea to bleach my whole head. And now we're bleaching our whole head. All right, it turned from money piece to e-girl highlights to bleaching our entire head real quick. Honestly, I was like, whoa, <laughs> calm down. Starting with two random pieces in the back of your head. Glad we're starting at the bottom of our hair. But what is? What are those two strands? I'm obviously not going to bleach my two front pieces again because I feel like that would be stupid. Like, how am I even supposed to know if I'm getting all of it? I just used three packets of bleach on my head. There's bleach everywhere. I haven't done my roots. I haven't done my two front pieces, obviously. Okay, you not only didn't do your roots, but you also didn't do like the midsection of your hair. The heat from your scalp only goes about an inch down from your scalp. So you need to go a little bit higher than that. Leave out that much at your root, but not this much. Cause then it's still gonna be uneven and crazy. But it, I mean, I guess I'll take it even though it's just not great. Uh, Izzy had to run to Sally's to get more bleach because this is not gonna be enough because I still have to do all my roots. So obviously last time I talked to you, Izzy was going to go get more bleach. Well, there's an accident and so she's been gone for 45 minutes. So I had to wash the bleach out of my head. It was starting to itch and I needed it out. No, she doesn't even have enough lightener to do her entire head and she can't get any more. That's the worst. No, 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 no. I'm not freaking out that bad. There's some pieces that are like really dark, which I'm gonna go over. And obviously my roots. My hair doesn't feel that bad, but like there's not a lot of hair coming off. Like you can barely see any. So that's a great sign. Well, good. We're not losing any hair. So that makes me happy, but um, it's looking crazy. How is it all gonna come together? Patterns in which people all over the world color their hair is just mind boggling. Like just get some organization to it. Horizontal sections or vertical even, I'll take vertical. But the zigzag sectioning, I don't know. It seems like more annoying to do that. I'm not getting it. I just washed it out all of my hair. We're gonna see what we have. I'm nervous. This has been an all day affair. Oh yeah. I'm not completely sure how this is gonna turn out because I don't know if it lifted enough, but we will soon find out. I missed a spot. <laughs> oh, shit. You didn't miss one spot. There is spots everywhere. <laughs> oh. So it is a little gummy. You can see this. That's just like coming out. Her hair is falling out a bit. We're just going to put toner everywhere. I think it goes in for half an hour. <gasps> Why? We're gonna need a good root shadow at this point to make everything blend together better uh, and cover those spots that were missed. And then the ends need like a good level eight or seven on them. Like this just needs to be brought down. It's it's all a little bit too light and orangey. It's, it's, it's pretty wild. Hey guys, it's the next day. So I wanna show you the finished product. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect much is what I'm gonna tell you. So it's yellow in a lot of places Um, I miss some brown up there, but it's not very good. I hope you guys enjoy this video I haven't done a hair video in a while. No, that went so bad. It was so stressful. I want you to fix it I don't want you to have to live your life like this. It's not 
No! Tone it well. Give yourself a root shadow. Do something. God. Throw some low lights in there. Just blend it. Or what would be really easy is to just do like a semi permanent color over everything, like a purple, a pink, a blue, or anything. Like you could probably do most colors over that and it would look fine and everything will kind of blend together nicely. So I hope the hair situation is better now. But uh, that was rough. Up next, this video is by Alana Petrol. What you will need, powder bleach. Oh, so this is a tutorial, huh, Alana? If you're gonna give it a tutorial style, it better be good. Since that's a powder bleach, I'm gonna be using a developer. All right, we got some 40 volume and some powder lightener. She definitely doesn't need 40 volume. I would say 20 or 30 would be fine, but go off. <clears throat> Might get a little sizzle sizzle on that hair, but we'll see. This is the powder and the developer mix. That is the... the Thickest consistency of lightener I've ever seen. I don't even know how you're gonna get that on your hair. It's gonna be like peanut butter. Let's go for more of like a yogurt consistency next time. My roots are super dark. That's my regrowth of what's coming in. So we're gonna make this area super blonde again, bringing it all the way down. Her hair looks so pretty right now. I'm kind of sad she's touching it. I don't mind the root on her. I do think a little money piece moment would look really cute, but I feel like she's gonna make it so damn thick and I feel like it's gonna look so nuts. I never see people do this well. I don't. I'm gonna take like an inch back maybe. Ooh. I already feel like I'm gonna regret that. As you can see, my hair is super thin right here. Oh, and we are doing the entire side. I think that's good to do. But the thing is, if she puts it all up to the root, all around her hairline, it's gonna be so bright. Like on this bottom section, it should be less towards the hairline. You know, it can't all just be like light. There has to be a kind of a rhyme and reason for things. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it closer at the root. Maybe I should have used tin foil. Okay, that's one way of doing it. We are gonna get some bright highlight in the front. It's gonna be so streaky and crazy. I don't know. <sighs> Guys, why are we all so gentle with the lightener? Get it in there, girl. Smush it around. Go. Everybody's like tapping it and just like very lightly. Just be a little more aggressive. Get a brush. Now we're gonna do the front section here. Again, like I mentioned, I'm only gonna go like right here-ish just until it brightens up and then I can put some on the ends. Put some on the what? <clears throat> put some on the what? The ends? Not the ends. I always notice too, hairdressers like never actually go like right to the root. It's like just before. I mean, it depends what service you're getting done, but when you do foils, you know, you can't always get it up right to the root. Oh God. So much overlapping going on with the existing blonde. She's just gonna cause her hair so much unwanted damage. <sighs> Section the hair out. Why are we only doing the outer layer of everything? Get in there. This side is already lifting. Like my hair lifts so quickly. That was literally five minutes. Well, you put 40 volume in your hair. <laughs> it's gonna be blonde. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to put a little bit on the bottoms of my hair just to brighten it up a little bit. At this point, why not? Just go for it, girl. Just do it. I'm closing my eyes. And I did see my hairdresser go like this once, where you like brush your hair and then just like tease it. Now I'm really just going for it. I don't think your hairdresser did it like that. And if they did, run. Because what is that? I'm just going to take it in chunks. Literally just tease like you want to get most of your hair up in the teasing also don't use a teasing comb to do this like if you're gonna do a tease before putting the lightener on use an actual comb because you need to get all of the hair all of it like not just the surface of the hair all of it needs to be pushed up basically when you comb it all out it's gonna make the hair at all different heights and you're gonna get a nice blended look this area i just brought down the bleach a little bit further so that all of my hair is getting bleached now rather than just the front because that is lifting a lot faster than I expected. Why are we putting lighter on the ends of her hair? Oh my God, it's getting scarier. The bottom actually turned out really good. So balayage technique, that was a win. It's looking good, it's looking good, it's looking good. Oops. That's where we messed up. It was at the top. I'm gonna go in with some more bleach. Literally just an inch though. It could have been a lot worse, I'll admit it. I mean, listen, if she was looking for that stripey money piece look, I think she's almost nailed it. And I'm glad she's lightening her hair again. This is taking a turn for the best. I do wish she went up a bit farther with the lightener instead of just doing like the tips of her hair like that. Like I think she needed more, you know, bring it up there, girl. I've done a second round of bleach. <laughs> Everywhere else, like the bottoms of my hair, they look grand. Okay. 
this is it washed out i like it it's better than what i expected i'm really surprised with like the balayage guys i think that was like the win-win of it i feel like if i style my hair i just let it air dry slash blow dry like toss a little bit because i didn't want to put too much heat on we definitely need like a toner to bring this all together and maybe just a little bit of a root up there it's so intense right in the front of your head i want a little bit of a root it's not for me this life's not for me so thankfully patty really needed milk for his tea which is an essential so i was like can you go get me a root touch up like a dark ashy brown or blonde so i'm gonna try and like smudge it in here thank god she's gonna smudge the root yes this is the dye that we got the 7.1 natural dark ash blonde i'll take it listen anything to help the situation just gonna go in small motions not the makeup brush i don't think i've ever seen anybody use a makeup brush to do their hair like you are a first with that one congratulations it, there's not a lot of firsts anymore and the hair just reacts but you just you just did it really making sure i'm keeping this at the roots i think it's kind of working although here is a bit questionable because here is taking to it but right here isn't <laughs> like it's okay if it's still brighter in the front of my face like if my roots aren't gonna be like the exact same shade okay i'm gonna step away from the dye let it do its thing this is the final effect so obviously we still have like two stripes but that dye last night severely helped us it definitely dyed it down a lot more and then literally within two weeks like my roots gonna come through anyways i'm really actually happy with how that turned out it was a disaster for a moment but i'm okay with the two the two stripe look see like my roots are darker but it's nice and bright at the front of my face it looks so much better. That was definitely not the right tool to use, like that box dye. Use a giant permanent color next time at like a level seven and it'll be so much better. Like that was inflicting damage on your hair for no reason. And you just didn't need that lifting power that a permanent color has, but it looks so much better. You pull it off. And I think she's right. Once the root grows in a little bit, it's gonna look so much better. Congratulations, kind of, but also. Ugh. Up next, we have a video by Katie Coxhead. By the way, the title says, sorry, Brad Mondo, so. <laughs> Expect the worst. I've literally never bleached or never done anything to my hair and then cut it. God, our hair is luscious. Gorgeous. It should be pretty easy to lighten that hair color because it is so naturally light and it's fine and it's thick and it's just great. That is so much. What a waste. Why don't they do smaller amounts so I can do my front bits? No, I'm freaking no. All right, we have mixed up the lightener and we are ready to apply. I know I'm being dramatic, but I'm honestly nervous. Well, it's on there, it's too bleeding light. Oh, it's gonna go on my top. No. Why is this section so big? No, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I have gone quite close to the head, and you're not meant to, because that bit gets warmer quicker, right? Because you're your skull's hot. She's like, you're not supposed to do the roots first because your skull is hot. In my head, I was thinking, I'll just end up speeding this up because like, I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. And here I am not getting the hang of it. I'm a disaster. Her hair is gonna lighten so fast. Her ends are already really light. And like I said before, she has the perfect hair to lighten. But also one section goes back to here and the other one goes back to here. Girl, please. Is it getting blonder? Where are you here? What do I do now? Wait. Another insane foil wrapping job done by a DIY hair thing. Whatever you call it, people. I don't know. Now I need to do the roots. Round the outside. Round. Oh my god, it feels hot. Perfect. That's what we want, right? But this is great. She actually waited for her mids and ends to lighten to a nice pale yellow blonde. And now she's going on her roots. Yes, she's going to get an even lift. Okay, so quick update. I have put them back in foils, but just like the bottom bits. I love this look. It's giving fashion. It's giving like runway, couture, fashion week. I love. Now, I knew this moment was coming, but I'm still not prepared for it. <sighs> Those are some large pieces. However, they are very even. I will have to applaud you for that. They're even. That's definitely one way of toning it. I think she's using conditioner. I think I might go now and then the next time I'll come on, hopefully it will be done. I don't know, you know? I don't know if it's just because it's very fresh. I can't work out if I like it or not. Oh, wait, hold on. 
Hold on. What did you just comb your hair with? Can we replay that? What is what is what did you just comb your hair with? A clip? <laughs> Y'all are funny. Also, though, her hair looks really good. How did she get that so even? It's so cute. It is definitely growing on me. Like I just kind of want to go all blonde now, but I'm enjoying the two tone. It's quite cool. You would look so good all over platinum blonde. Like those front pieces are doing it for me. Your whole head that color. Wow. With your skin tone. Wow. With your features. Wow. I literally thought you were gonna like absolutely fail and you didn't. It was a bit wild today. Make sure you guys check out my hair care or my hair color line with the link right down below or go to xmondohair.com. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. You look gorgeous. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.